Well, today is Good Friday, and this is the Yachtley Shevin. And Yachtley down there, Armscliff Crag over there. We just dropped them off down little woodland area. I'm going to go and meet them down there in that direction. And the crucifix is up, it hasn't been up for a couple of years, but it's up now. So uh, quite some effort to put that up, the size of that, looking out across Orkley. Yeah, and this is a dry stone walling um, training area here. So they train people how to, to build uh, dry stone walls, to do courses. It's that cross that we've seen from down, not be down there, looking up with a big cross on top of the hill. So I'm just heading up this way, uh, just in that dip where those trees are. There's a woodland that looks down onto Menston. So Menston is down the hill down there. It's going to meet Eve and the children. Uh, dry, so it's excellent for walking, no mud or anything. Uh, up here, uh, the views are okay, can be clearer. You can see it's a little bit murky in the distance, the views could be clearer. That's the old center of Otley, there, this bit here. sort of spread out. You can see different ages of houses, different estates of different ages. And uh, quite a new housing development on that corner up there. You can see it. And then these <clears throat> pools. So the lake here, uh, that's actually uh, where Otley Sailing Club is. And Adrian MacDonald, who used to live in Menston, uh, his professor is retired now. He now lives at uh, Jedburgh. And uh, his son is, I think, the head, one of the head uh, people there at that sailing club. They've had some problems with uh, algal blooms, toxic algal blooms. Oh, yes, this is information about the, the, tr the training courses for the dry stone walling. Obviously, that's the 2019 sign, a bit out of date, but it looked like they've been recently doing it. So maybe they'll be starting again soon. Yeah, so Adrian McDonald's sort of been having to, in fact, I can see it still looks a bit uh, greeny grey there. Looks like in that pool, looks like it still might have some of the algal problems. And uh, yeah. This area down here, so where there's like a flat area there, that's recently been landscaped for a flood alleviation scheme for Otley. And it protects 
sort of rows of houses down there next to the river and the cars are going over a bridge that's the Otley Bridge there just next to it so that's a flood alleviation scheme there they've installed so the river wharf just flows through the middle of Otley there Clues look for Easter egg hunt. If you would like to walk on me, I have a surprising view. I have as many trees, what am I? The Easter egg hunt from the royalty. I saw another one of those signs, I think, up that way. So, yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Maybe someone's going to put some Easter eggs out on Sunday morning. And uh, people have got to follow the clues. So, there's some steps that go down through the woods here, down to Otley. A lot of steps. A bit further that way where the cross is and then down. So you can walk up from Otley. Um, nice bit of sunshine, a little bit of evening sun. Yeah, it's excellent being able to walk when there's no, no mud or anything along here. So we're just skirting on the top of the Chevin. And uh, coming up to sort of the trees now, the little bit of woodland where they were going to go and play. I think there's some little rope swings and things or just going to go and play in there. Uh, but what there was is that there is a car park there, but it does shut and it does, the gate does get locked nightly. I have noticed that. And it's said on it 6 p.m. and it, it is now about 10 to 6. So it was about 20 past 6 when I got there. So I thought, well, I'll not... I'll not risk that getting the car locked in. Uh, so I just thought I'll just drive up to the main Chevin car park there where there's an ice cream van and the, the crucifix is. And uh, yeah, just walk along, it's not far. So it's been like, the weather's been like this all day, sort of sun comes out very briefly, you know, a few couple of minutes and then pops away again. It's been mainly cloudy, but mild, no wind, sort of 17, 18 degrees. So you can wear your shorts, I've got my shorts on. Yeah. So now we're coming on the other side now, so you can start to see down. And that's Burley and Wharfdale down there. And Menston is in this direction here, so I'm going to go up here and lock it off because some people there don't want to annoy them. So, yeah, this this is the area here where the other car park is. I was telling you about it's kind of like hidden down that direction. And there's some nice woods here, a little valley, and then there's a pond just down in this bit here. So as you can see, I'm still skirting along the. The ridge is really at the very top of the Chevin, the, the ridge along it. Uh, we've now just come along, sort of opened up a slightly different angle. So we'll head and look at that direction, heads out towards Ilkley basically. So Ilkley Moor is up there. And that's Burley and Wharfdale, the houses you can see this just there. And so Menston is, is down, down here hidden down here. That's more of the lake there, that's the sailing club, Otley Sailing Club there. Okay, so we should be finding them soon, somewhere down here. It's a little bit more, it's still hard ground, but there's patches where there's little bits of mud still down on this side so it must be sort of a damper more shaded side here coming off the top but it's perfectly good for walk on still okay so there's the pond i can see there's a couple of little toddlers looking at the tadpoles probably we'll see later whether there's any tadpoles there that's broken off look there that tree so it should theoretically just be just down here somewhere. Nice to have a meet them. 
uh, we could bring a, a net in a little jar and take some tadpoles back and start our own pond if we wanted to. Well, anyway, that's it down there. Okay, let's see. Where are, where are we? There they are, I can see them. So there's uh, no canopy cover yet on these trees. Hello. Stop. Are you okay? Was there tadpoles in the pond? Stop screaming. Were there tadpoles? No. No? Oh, I couldn't see any. Well, I'm going to go back and find the tadpoles. Was there any tadpoles in the pond? No. There's some weird thing moving, but I don't know. A newt. Yeah. We'll go and have a look if there's any tadpoles, eh? Huh? 